This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life. Brighten up your life. Somebody asked, is there any way to tell uh, a first date you were on a plant-based diet? Hmm. Well, I, I think that's very important for somebody to know. I don't think it should dictate uh, the, the final outcome of, of, of the person. Uh, but I do think it's something, unless it's a blind date, that should have been discussed prior to meeting. <laughs> At least you know you're going to a restaurant that you can both eat. So it shouldn't really be a, a face-to-face thing. But if it's, it's, it's a first date, but if it's done over the phone or even in person before that first date, always a better idea. I don't think it's a... Uh, on a first date. Oh, by the way, thanks for uh, talking so much and making me uh, convinced to go out with you on a date. Is there anything you left out? Oh, well, there's one important thing I left out. Uh, I uh, I don't eat dead animals and I don't eat live animals either. Oh, well, uh, I love uh, animals and uh, the restaurant I was planning on taking you to is one of the best steakhouse in, in the country. So, uh, you know, I wish you would have told me this sooner. And uh, now what are we going to do? Have no fear. I eat uh, at steakhouses. They have the best salad bars you can imagine. So we'll just be fine. I'll eat my my fresh fruits and vegetables from the great salad bar, and you can eat your dead carcass, and uh, and then we can have a nice date. Uh, sounds good to me. All right. So uh, yes, don't <laughs> uh, don't let food uh, get in the way of 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 meeting Mr. or Mrs. Wright. And some people say, well, if they're Mr. or Mrs. Wright, they won't eat meat and so on. Listen, I mean, I can I can only speak for myself. You guys speak for yourselves. I believe a raw vegan diet is healthiest, but uh, I'm not waiting around for a raw, raw vegan. Um, I'm, 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 I'm waiting. I'm, I'm interested in health, not labels. I'm interested in health. Okay, uh, so that's what I'm interested in, health, not labels. And that's what I suggest people. But it was a great question. I think it's something that should be discussed before your first date to make sure everyone's okay with the idea. And also, uh, you're not going into that with the idea you're going to convince somebody to stop eating animals or you're going to convince somebody to eat animals. You shouldn't go in with that idea. If you're both okay with it, then be okay with it. Don't try. Don't get ideas of, of convincing people. And... And, and yeah, and then just uh, let it not be an issue. There are places out there today you could get uh, vegetarian and, and, and non-vegetarian food in the same meal, the same sitting down, and so on. If you decide you want, you can't kiss somebody that eats dead animals, uh, well, that's a whole other story. But, uh, but again, say how you feel, have good communication, and you'll either have a great date, and what somebody's eating is not going to mind, or you're going to be so disgusted by the way the other person's eating, you're not going to have a second date. So don't sweat it. Just enjoy. And there you go. That's my, that's Dr. Phil's. That's Dr. Paul's uh, advice. Don't listen to me though. Don't listen to me. Just, uh, you know, let's see. Ah, well, listen to me. Yeah. I think it's good advice. Okay. There you go. Good question. Nature's wealth. Good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life. Brighten up your life